Hey guys, Julie D here. For those of you who are new to my channel, thank you and welcome. I'm a professional competition shooter sharing my passion for the shooting sports as I did in my last video where my daughter and I went and competed at the Rimfire Challenge, had a great time, and many of you on social media let me know that you would love to see a guns and gear video from Rimfire Challenge as well. So here we go. Off, I want to know who all shoots rimfire challenge out there or even if you shoot steel challenge with a rimfire pistol or rifle Let us know in the comments below share your sport with us. We want to hear about it for those of you who don't know what rimfire challenge is Let me break it down for you It's a speed-based competition featuring you guessed it 22 caliber firearms the Courses of Fire feature steel targets of various sizes with a designated stop plate. There's a start position marker and after the load and make ready command, you aim at that mark to show that you're ready to go. You'll receive an are you ready, stand by, and then the start buzzer. As soon as you hear the buzzer, you can engage all the targets as you see them as quickly as possible, keeping the stop plate, it's designated, last. There are penalties for misses, false starts, and such. But the goal here is to go one for one as fast as possible, and your time is your score. Two, nine, two, clean, two, nine, clear. Two. The good news is, as you're speeding through these courses of fire, you do get to throw away your slowest time. So you'll shoot each course of fire five times, and only four scores will be counted in your stage score. In Rimfire Challenge, you shoot both pistol and rifle, their combined scores. So this isn't just a pistol-only sport or a rifle-only sport. You do have to compete with both. You have the rifle stages and you have pistol stages. They take those scores, add them together for your final score. We competed in the open division and we used the same Smith & Wesson M&P 1522 Sport and Performance Center Victory to make things simple and easy for the both of us to compete as a family. Let's talk about rifle. This is my little one's M&P 1522 Sport in Muddy Girl Pink Camo and it has a lot of great features right out of the box. I love the versatility of the M&P 15 with the six position stock because it allows both me and my daughter to get the exact length of pull that we need in order to see the sights or the red dot on the target. As you would imagine, I have several M&P 1522s and we chose this one not because it's pink, although that's very cool, <laughs> but it is the lightest option of all of my M&P 1522s. And I really wanted that because I knew we would be competing in both rifle and pistol all in the same day. So I wanted something that was gonna be light and easy for my daughter to use to transition from target to target and kind of reduce that level of fatigue as much as possible. You'll notice the addition of the Trijicon RMR. This red dot optic is what puts us into that open division. And again, I chose this one because it's so light. It was really easy for her to find the dot quickly. The RMR clamps onto this Picatinny rail. The Magpul and the sights fold down and right out of the way. And if we want to take the optic off and shoot irons, it's simple and easy. For steel shooting, I really like the Trijicon RMR with the 6.5 MOA dot. And that's because it's big enough that it's easy to see quickly and easily on those white targets. And again, any hit anywhere on the steel counts. But it's also small enough that if you do have a target pushed out there quite a ways, which was the case at the Rimfire Challenge, you're still going to be able to make a precise shot. Now let's talk about pistol. I was so excited to get this one. This Performance Center victory is really quite 
quite an awesome little gun. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm super stoked because right out of the box, it's ready to go. This is the six inch fluted barrel version with the custom muzzle brake. And I really like shooting this little plinker. The flat face target trigger is adjustable, so you can set it up just the way you like it. And a lot of people think you don't need a brake and gunfire, but look at all that gas releasing from the end of the gun, the muzzle. And I'm gonna tell you right now, flatter means faster. And at a little over 38 ounces, this firearm is still light enough to drive easily and paired with a great optic like the Trichicon RMR and some high quality federal premium or CCI rimfire ammunition, it's literally race ready. What's your favorite stage? Probably the first one we shot. Do you like the fast ones or the hard ones? The hard ones. The hard ones? You're like, And there you have it, two different out-of-the-box options that are ideal, perfect for getting started in Rimfire Challenge. And if you've been thinking about it and you're on the fence, I hope this video will help inspire you to get out there and give it a try. Let me know in the comments section below if you do. And if you like this style of video, hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed already, I'd love, I'd love, love, love for that. And of course, sharing is caring. So please feel free to share this video with your friends. And yeah, until next time, be safe and have fun.